Okay. So you guys see a skull in the sky with green eyes, and you're either not sure what it is, or you just really want to do a skull for it, but you're not sure how to do it by yourself, or even with your buddies. Uh, in this video today, I'm here to show you the best and quickest way to get done a skull for it. It's really easy, as long as you stay alive and keep food in your pockets. So let's jump into it. While you're approaching the Skull Fort, there will be towers and island cannons that shoot you or shoot at your ship. Just make sure you don't take one directly and die and you'll be alright. You're going to want to come in very hot. Make sure your ship's not filling too much with water. And when you get into a safe position, you're just going to want to drop the anchor. Once your ship is fully repaired and bucketed of water, make sure your anchor's up and your sails are up. You want your cannons to be in a good spot as well as your harpoon to pull all your loot. You want to make sure there's no cannons pointing at your ship from the island that a skeleton can spawn at and start shooting your ship without you noticing as well. As long as you stay alive, generally they won't shoot your boat. Now going into the skull fort, I would recommend a blunderbuss and a sword. Most of the skeletons that you will come across can easily be one tapped with the blunderbuss or taken out with the sword fairly quick. After a wave, you'll have probably about five seconds in between the waves for skeletons to spawn. Just make sure you're I would recommend your pockets are full with either blunder bombs, uh, fire bombs, and also always stay stocked on food. The the most important thing about a skull fort, in my opinion, is not dying. Um, when you die, it just leaves your ship completely vulnerable. Um, skeletons can spawn at cannons, and it's just a waste of time, really. Blunder bombs are more important for kegs because they're easier to explode off the rip. Um, fire bombs are more important for metal skeletons, which I'll show you guys shortly. Because you're going to come across four styles of skeletons at a skull fort. It's going to be plant skeletons, shadow skeletons, regular skeletons that you see fighting right here. And you're also going to come across the metal skeletons. The blunder bus is good for um, for every skeleton besides the plant skeletons. Uh, the plant skeletons die fairly quickly with your sword. So when you come across them, just simply sword them. And within three, four swipes, they're gone. Again, you're always going to want to check your surroundings. Um, you can either go to your boat and look around. You can check the map for reaper flags. You can check. You can go up top of the fort and check. There's there's multiple ways to check without going too, too offhand with the skull fort. The more you can use the island resources, the faster the skull fort will go. So the more you're picking up food from barrels or 
blunder bombs or fire bombs and using kegs and stuff like that, the better off you'll be. So right here you'll see the fire bombs are very effective towards the metal skeletons. You can either get the metal skeletons in water and uh, one blunder them, or just throw fire bombs at them, and by the time the fire runs out off of them, they'll be gone. So you'll have an indication when the boss is going to be coming up because it's followed up by two different waves. One will have a basic captain spawn, as you can see right here. This captain will spawn, and once you beat him, another wave will pop with an Ashen Master and an Ashen Key Holder. After these two waves, that's when the boss will spawn in. The Ashen uh, Guardian and the Ashen Key Master, as, long, as well as the Captain Skeleton, are a little harder to beat. So you're going to have to hit them a bunch of times, either with your gun or your sword. You'll see here, I'm doing a quick check, because I know after this skeleton's done, the boss is going to spawn in. So I just want to check the island and the surrounding area really quick, so I know I can divide all my attention directly to the boss when he comes out. When the boss does spawn, he will be in the middle of the main fort area. So just be prepared for some skeletons, kegs, whatever might spawn in there. You want to get that initial hit off him real quick. Make sure you're healing and staying alive. Because dying on the boss is not fun. So there's two ways to actually beat the boss. Um... You can either blunder him and, and constantly move around, which is a decent method if you can manage to heal a lot. Because he will do a slam attack, and he also has a blunder style pistol that is very strong. So you want to try and stay away from that. Keeping your distance on the boss at the skull forts is important because his pistol shot is very strong. But you can also set him up or cannon shots and cannon shots are the most effective way to beat the boss in my opinion it takes probably about 30 or 40 with some extra hitting with like a sniper or a blunder and the skull fort boss will go down fairly quick Once you defeat the boss, he will drop a stronghold key. You will use that to open up the main door, which holds all the loot. Before opening it, I would recommend double checking your area. You can leave the fort with the key if you have to, or you can hide it. Now, when you open up the fort, you there will be what's called a stronghold keg in there. Um, most people know about the kegs and stuff like that, but if, you, if you're if you new to this, the, the keg is very strong, and that's how people who sneak around on this event will steal your loot. They will just blow that up on your ship. So it's entirely up to you if you want to take it. It's worth good money and good merchandise rep, but most people just blow it up right from the jump, so it's not a risk at all. For this video's purpose, I'm actually going to put it aside and take it with me on the ship. You want to put the loot in a good spot where you can easily harpoon it. It's much more f effective to harpoon all the loot in a pile than it is to swim it back and forth to your ship. However, if you do take the mega keg with you, do not harpoon it. There is a, it's probably about a 50-50 chance that it can blow up when you do harpoon it back to your ship. And that's a chance I would recommend that you do not take. Because if it does blow up, it will kill you and your ship will sink and possibly the loot that's in the water or whatever, you know, you, you might get it back. It depends where your back spawn is and stuff like that, but it's, it's just not worth it at all. Okay, so there you have it. You have all the skull fort loot on your boat. There's a lot of little trinkets that I actually did not pick up with this one, um, but I just wanted to get the main loot, the, all the stronghold items and stuff like that on the boat. 
if done properly this event should take you about 20 minutes even solo um, as long as you don't die you can get this event done very quickly and if you utilize your cannons on the boss you can get it done even faster if you guys did like this video please like comment subscribe uh, comment what you guys might want to see next um, any world event voyages any type of tutorial or help for anything towards sea of thieves please let me know and i will try my best to get it out there i appreciate you guys checking it out and if you do ever want to watch live or ask any questions live i do stream friday and saturdays at twitch.tv slash kid named tom um feel free to give me a follow over there and, and come check it out until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace